Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me trying to do an, an extra premium prom. Uh, let's cut it down uh, a little bit. Uh, let's do a medium one today. Why not? Hopefully, it's not an SQL. Oh, or, or uh, whatchamacallit, a, uh, one of those, uh, whatchamacallit, asynchronous problems or whatever. Um, I just haven't, I don't know how to do it in Python. That's all. Uh, all right, anyway, today's problem is the 1136 parallel courses, a medium. You are given an integer n, which indicates that there are n courses labeled from 1 to n. You're also given an array relation, where relations of i is equal to previous course, next course, represent a prerequisite relationship between course, two courses. Okay, fine. In one semester, you can take any number of courses as long as you've taken all the prerequisite in the previous semester of for the courses you're taking. Return the minimum number of semester needed to take all courses. If there's no way to take all the courses, return negative one. I mean, this seems like a very straightforward uh, version of topological sort. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything really that interest or like um tricky about it it's just counting the number of iterations right because if you kind of think about top logical sort um and there are two ways to kind of construct it one is by i i say like breath of search and the other is like depth of search or maybe a more precise way is uh, one is using a stack and one is using a queue um in either case both the core principle behind top logical sort is going to be greedy right and the thing with greedy is that really there's no no better way to do it and so at every turn you take all the courses that you can and when you do that you know that is it and therefore when you can finish then you finish that's pretty much it so i, I don't know if i explained it that well but it's just um you know that's the way to do it right and of course uh yeah and as part of that um as part of that, let's go. Uh, I got distracted. I, I forget what I was saying. But yeah, but uh, yeah. Uh, the way that I always think about it is uh, with top logical sort um, is every every um, every every iteration, if you will. Every every sem semester, if you will. Um, what classes can I take, right? And this really. F uh, is a very natural way to kind of go into the, the Q-based solution. So let's go into that. So basically we have, um, and I know that there is a, a thing that people write. I don't write, usually write this this way, but I'm going to try a little bit where, you know, it's based on the, um, the iterations, right? So, okay. So let's just say in degree, right? That's how uh, we're gonna. It's gonna do it times n. So for you, we in relations. Um, yeah, I guess we also want one adjacency list. Uh, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I always forget which direction I need it. But uh, okay. But in degree of v, we increment by one. Adjacency list of u points to v. Right. Okay. Um, and then now, uh, yeah, we just do an iteration, right? So maybe something like, um, I don't know, um, do, 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 do. Uh, maybe it's just something like taken is equal to zero. So while taken is less than n, and that's just the number of classes, and then maybe semesters, we can even use f things like that. Um, and then now, uh, for the first semester, we just go for in degree, right? And this is going to be for every semester, right? For, um, no, I mean, okay. I, I usually write it this way, but oh, no, that's not true. Uh, I, I want to be a little bit more careful. I, I usually write it a different way, which is why I'm a little bit phoned off. But basically what we want is now for you in, in degree, uh, maybe I'll write it in a, for i and n, uh, if in degree of i is equal to zero, that means that it is a node that has no prerequisite. So then you can take it now, right? So then now we got append i, right? Okay. Um, and then now, so here, um, what do we want? Mm, maybe we just have a next semester queue, right? Maybe that's a little bit easier um, the way that it, it, it gets constructed. And then now we go, okay, for, 
for u in the current q, what happens? Um, that means that we just took this class this semester. So then, um, so then in so then now we look at its uh, v right for v in adjacency list of u, um, and then now in degree of v v we decrement by one, and if this number is equal to zero, we put it into the next queue, right? And that's really pretty much it. Uh, at the end, then we set q is equal to next q, uh, and then we semester this increment by one, right? If if length of next q is equal to zero, then we return negative one. Um, yeah, maybe that's hmm. Uh, so this is taken, we increment by one. That just shows that we've taken this class. And at, so it would either do this or this, right? So then now we return semesters. And that's pretty much it, I think. Maybe I'm off by one of the semesters. But, uh, hmm. Oh, is this from, is this one indexed? Okay, hang on. Oh, shoo! Ooh, Oh, shoo! Ooh. Uh, allergy still, as you can see here, maybe. Not as bad as it was, but uh, well, actually, maybe I should say that knock on wood. Um, okay. Hmm. Oh, I guess this is part doesn't have to be true. Um, or like not yet. I think what we want is actually here, right? If length of Q is greater than z is equal to zero. Um, okay. Um, because obviously when you take the last class, there's not going to be a thing, so I just kind of did, got the order of operation incorrectly. Let's give it some mid. Maybe I'm okay. I wasn't. I think I'm almost like eighty percent confident, but it's very easy to make silly mistakes, and I've been making a lot of silly mistakes lately. So yeah. Um, what's the complexity here? There's going to be linear time, and linear, of course, is v plus e. Um, that's just topological sort stuff, right? Um, we we go for each each uh, and of v plus e space as well, just because of n degree and the adjacency list. Um, yeah, uh, what else do I have? No, I think that's it. I mean, each, each node gets, uh, taken once. So that's the V part of the, the time and each edge gets visited once. So that's the E part of the V plus E, uh, as well. Of course, there are the E, O of E here and O of V here, but, but this is probably the meat of the thing. And this loop looks confusing, but yeah, it's still just V plus E. Uh, all right, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.